But since the success of Crazy Story and coming under the wing of fellow successful Chicago rapper Lil Durk, Vaughn was spending a lot of time away from Chicago and living the high life of a successful rap star. Rather than jumping in stolen cars and doing drills, Vaughn was with Durk jumping off yachts, seemingly surrounded by people who knew his reputation very well. Okay, Durk, yo, it's on you now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, Vaughn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bitch. Look at Vaughn. Look at Vaughn. Me too scared. Get wild, Vaughn. He scared to jump. Man, that's talking about you. They're here talking about you. All that savage and you scared to jump in the water. And at a certain point, you have to wonder, was Lil Durk being a good influence to King Von taking him away from Chicago and the violence that he probably couldn't escape on his own? Or in reality, is King Von really a bad influence on Durk bringing problems, violence, and crime to wherever Durk is traveling with his legitimate music industry success? After all, Von was seen riding around with Lil Durk, toting the stick for any ops that pull up, and joking about having more bodies than anybody that's there. The ops are gonna get <laughs> Fuck you talking about bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass Fuck y'all doing. Me on Cut this low shit back up, man. He get his bite in this bitch. Too late. It's over. Look, you know I'm coming out. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and while it sounds like they were joking in that video, apparently things were serious. Because allegedly, on February the 5th, 2019, Dirk and Von were both involved in an Atlanta armed robbery and shooting. But Dirk and Von wouldn't be arrested for this for quite some time. And so in the months that followed, they would continue having a great time. Having flexing battles on Instagram, fighting over who's got the most money in designer drip. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you saw me flexing earlier? No, man, I was, I was too busy. Nickname Papa. No spinach, bitch ass nigga. Fuck, come up. Hold on. I was too busy. No. Get your bitch ass on. What? I, I just what? know. What? This damn thing is true. I, I don't play. I just married myself to death. And... Fly as shit. That shit don't matter though. You over there with 20 on. Huh? You over there with 20 bucks. I mean, I'm still I'm doing my thing. Don't try to count my money. Don't count my pockets on phone number. Hey, what you on the damn? You do it too much. Don't be the yes in them time. That's a couple belts. Hey, I'm saying. Fat, fat, fifty a piece. You still flexing? I don't know. Hey, nigga, they got these Chanel's right here. Clearly he's not moved completely on from the streets to the success, because he's still talking about smoking dead ops from back in the day. I'm right here kicking a little Mark dirty ass. Damn. Marky! That shit, we so much for that yesterday, son. I, Marky! I never felt like going to sleep in the studio. Lamar. Fuck talking that young the fuck going on. I don't give no fuck about this. Unfortunately, soon the good times for Dirk and Von would come to an end, with the cops picking both of them up in June 2019, with them appearing together in an explosive court appearance. Day little Dirk appeared in court where a judge ruled there was enough evidence for him to go to trial. The rapper and Bennett listened to the evidence against them in court. Javita APD says they used at least five cameras from local businesses, including this BP, as well as from the varsity across the street in order to build their case against Lil Dirk and his co-defendant. On Friday, detectives from Atlanta and Chicago testified in the criminal case against rapper Lil Dirk in Fulton County Court. They say around five in the morning on February 5th, Lil Dirk, whose real name is Dirk Derek Banks, and his co-defendant, Devontae Bennett, were seen on camera involved in shooting Alexander Witherspoon, a person police say they knew. He said his chain was snatched off his neck and he had $30,000 stolen from him and they stole the vehicle he was driving. Police say Banks was seen on tape shooting a gun. And so in what may end up as the blessing that saved Lil Dirk from being exposed to much worse consequences, in the lead up to their supposed trial, Dirk and Von are prevented from communicating with each other at all. Something that Dirk and Von both famously discuss in separate No Jumper interviews. But at least it seems that Dirk was still able to help Von with his career from a distance. With the OTF supported release of King Von's new project Grandson in September 2019,